16-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion John Cena makes a surprise appearance at WWE Money in the Bank live from the O2 Arena in London, England. Teases WrestleMania possibly coming to the UK in the future, but is interrupted by Grayson Waller, which leads to an attitude adjustment for the former NXT superstar. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of new stories to get into in the world of world wrestling entertainment. We have to talk about the return of John Cena for the first time since the opening match of WrestleMania 39 weekend of John Cena to WWE television. And surprisingly, it came across the pond in London, England at tonight's Money in the Bank premium live event from the O2 Arena in a moment that certainly shocked the fans in attendance at the O2. John Cena is back. Now, Money in the Bank was quite a show, certainly, for WWE. But one thing absolutely nobody seemed to expect was going to happen was an appearance by 16-time World Heavyweight Champion himself, John Cena. The former face of WWE has been appearing for the company less and less often, of course, in recent years, as he continues to focus on his Hollywood acting career in franchises such as Peacemaker for DC Comics and Fast and the Furious, etc. However, apparently, WWE's first premium live event in London London in decades was too big of a happening event for John Cena to let pass by. Cena's arrival received a thunderous ovation from those in attendance, that being the WWE Universe at the O2 Arena in London, standing in stark contrast to how he used to be welcomed by UK fans. And even he pointed out, he said, usually when I come out here in London, you chant Cena sucks or let's go Cena, Cena sucks. But today, this evening, it was just chants of Cena, 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 as his respect and his Babe Ruth status continues to grow in world wrestling entertainment and in the hearts and minds of professional wrestling fans around the world. After extolling the virtues of London's WWE faithful, Cena then began promoting the idea of WWE finally bringing WrestleMania to the UK, particularly London in particular. Now, naturally, this drew, drew a huge cheer, but someone who wasn't very happy about the idea of WrestleMania coming to the UK was none other than recent SmackDown arrival Grayson Waller. Of course, he was called up from NXT as part of the WWE 2023 draft, being drafted to the blue brand after finishing up in NXT in an NXT championship match against uh, Carmelo Hayes, a match which he recently revealed he broke his leg in, which is why he's only been doing talk show appearances. And for the first time since being caught up to the main roster, we actually saw Grayson Waller get physical as he teased he would in a recent uh, video on social media. Uh, Waller confronted Cena, insisting that the WrestleMania head uh, event head to Australia instead. He then invited the Doctor of Thugonomics to receive a rub from the cocky heel by suggesting, hey, how about I book you on my talk show? That being, of course, the Grayson Waller effect. This then led to a quick scuffle, which was actually started by Grayson Waller, landing several right hands and punches to the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. But unfortunately for the Australian native, it ended in an attitude adjustment to Waller by Cena. Now, whether this actually sets up WWE intending to bring WrestleMania to London anytime soon remains to be seen, but if not, it could end up just being remembered as a cruel tease. Um, Cena has done this before in the past, not particularly with uh, London and WrestleMania, but I do remember him eventually uh, once saying that WrestleMania 30 was going to be in Madison Square Garden. Of course, it didn't end up happening. So John Cena could just be saying, John Cena, again at the time of recording this, I haven't actually seen all of the interviews and comments from um, the likes of Paul Triple H, Lebeck and others in the Money in the Bank press conference after the show. One quote that I did see, though, was Triple H saying that he thanks John Cena for putting him in the unenviable task of people now expecting WrestleMania to be in London at some point in the future. Of course, WWE could do it, but they are always reluctant when it comes to the time changes and all that kind of stuff. It's one thing to do it for an event like Money in the Bank. It's another thing all entire entirety to do it for the biggest show of the year, which is WrestleMania. So again, whether or not it actually leads to a WrestleMania event coming to London, we'll have to wait and see. But of course, what we have seen recently, the demand certainly is there. Not only with the O2 Arena selling out in mere seconds for last night's SmackDown, as well as tonight's Money in the Bank premium live event, but also for AEW's All In at London's Wembley Stadium. We have seen over 65,000 tickets being sold for AEW's debut in the UK. UK. So one would think if WrestleMania were to take place inside Wembley Stadium or any stadium in the UK around April time, most certainly.
certainly it would sell out and do big, big numbers for WWE. So it could be a consideration in the future for a fan base that desperately, desperately wants it so, so badly. As far as does this set up a future match between Grayson Waller and John Cena? Well, certainly anything is possible. John Cena hasn't wrestled, as I mentioned, since being defeated by Austin Theory in the opening match of WrestleMania 39. In fact, Grayson Waller pointed out that in singles action recently, John Cena hasn't fared too well, whether it's against Austin Theory or Roman Reigns in 2021 at SummerSlam or even the fiend Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse match at WrestleMania 36. Of course, Cena has been victorious in one of his matches in recent WWE history, that being a tag team match that happened on SmackDown at the end of last year. But as far as singles competition, it hasn't been good for big match John recently. Does this lead to a match between him and Grayson Waller? Probably not, but some would consider it to be a big rub uh, for the, uh, again, new SmackDown superstar. But I don't think it will probably lead to anything in the future. But you never know. There had been rumors of John Cena possibly having a match at SummerSlam. Maybe a rematch against Austin Theory. We'll have to wait and see. Prior to the event, there had been rumors that John Cena could somehow be involved in Money in the Bank. He was recently spotted here in the UK uh, filming uh, for filming commitments. There had been viral videos of him actually working out at a JD Sports gym in Liverpool. There was also a video that went viral of someone trying to talk to him whilst he was having dinner with a friend or a colleague at a local restaurant, which he politely told the person to leave. So most likely this was a circumstance of John Cena happening to be in the UK at the time of them uh, having this Money in the Bank event and because he was local and because filming probably permitted that he could go there, he appeared. The segment did feel kind of random and put together and it did go on, I felt like a bit too long maybe and John Cena was just kind of there to hype up the crowd. I don't think they particularly care. Triple H did say in the press conference after the show that sometimes John Cena just needs that hit of adrenaline and you do see this with a lot of former WWE superstars. Well, John Cena actually did quite a revealing interview a few months ago. I believe it was with Sam Roberts of Sirius XM where he was suggesting that what we saw at WrestleMania is ultimately what he's capable of right now when it comes to physical in-ring work, and that is the bare essentials and not that much. So Cena realizes that his time in-ring is coming to an end. Quite a few times we saw him recently. He got emotional before WrestleMania. He came out and he nearly started crying, and he later revealed it's because it was one of the first times that he realized heck, I might not be able to be doing this that much often anymore, so I've got to drink it in. And that's certainly what he did tonight in London, England for this memorable moment at Money in the Bank. And certainly the fans were very happy to see him there and get involved and hype up the crowd and actually get physical, as I mentioned too, for the first time since WrestleMania as well. So what were your thoughts on John Cena's appearance tonight at Money in the Bank? What are your thoughts on Grayson Waller's promo with him? Do you think it will lead to anything between John Cena and Grayson Waller? And importantly, do you think it will lead to a future WrestleMania actually taking place in London or was this just John Cena teasing just to say stuff out there or was it John Cena going off script and trying to force the hand of WWE to do something that he believes the fans in the UK deserve let me know your thoughts as always in the comment section below and hmm it'll be interesting to see what Cena does next I'll speak for you again very very soon Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.